Earlier this morning, this was the kitchen of the Bikov family. All appliances and kitchen utensils were destroyed by an enemy shell. Windows were damaged in the adjacent rooms. Miraculously, the owner of the house survived. The shelling intensified, so I went outside to listen where they are firing from. And then I heard a loud blast. I turned around and just saw dust and parts of my house laying around. His wife Tetyana was at work at the time. My husband called me and said, Tanya, please don't worry, but a shell hit our house and now we can see the sky from our kitchen. I thank God that we are both alive and that my husband is alive. Sappers work here during the day, demining the territory and cleaning it of shrapnel. They say that the shelling came from the occupied town of Pervomysk from a 122 mm caliber mortar that is banned under the Minsk agreements. They were aiming at the bridge, the road between two towns, Horske and Zolote. Not far from this place, there is a school. Children walk this road to go to classes. If the shelling had started an hour later, a real tragedy might have occurred. The blast knocked out glass windows in the houses nearby. Zolote is only three kilometers from the front line. Over 6,000 people live here today. Before the war started, the population was two times higher. I have been living here for 37 years now. I left for a while. I spent six months with my sister and thought I could settle there, but I couldn't. I'm used to this town. I know everyone here. I love my co-workers. My neighbors are great people. It just breaks my heart to leave this place. The Bikov family hopes to repair their house before the winter starts. Reported by Anastasia Volkova, UATV.